Hello, I am Payam Desh Pandey, working as a PhD student at Agarkar Research Institute, Pune, under the guidance of Dr. Prashant Dhakipurkar. I am working on anaerobic fungi and their potential in enhancing the biomethanation of rice straw. Ruminants are the animals which obtain nutrients from plant-based food. The first compartment of their stomach, called rumen, is a major site where complex plant material is digested through microbial activity. Microbial groups which are present in the rumen include bacteria, fungi and protozoa. Anaerobic fungi, which are normal inhabitants of rumen, play a crucial role in anaerobic digestion of plant material. They convert complex carbohydrates in the plant material into simple sugars, hence making the further digestion process easy. Byproducts of fungal metabolism include hydrogen, acetate, lactate, formate and ethanol. Rhizoidal morphology and presence of cellulolytic enzymes makes it easy for them to penetrate and degrade the substrate. This ability of anaerobic fungi has created a curiosity among the researchers to explore them as potential degraders. In our lab, we are studying the potential of anaerobic fungi as rice straw degraders. Rice straw is one of the abundantly available agricultural waste in India and it is burned in farms in large quantities creating a lot of air pollution. Since it is made up of very complex carbohydrates, it becomes very difficult to use it as a substrate for any of the processes. Anaerobic fungi get attached on the rice straw fibers and start degrading it. Currently, we are exploring two processes involving anaerobic fungi, biohydrogen production and biomethane production. Biohydrogen, being a direct byproduct of anaerobic fungal growth, can be obtained at large scale to use it as a fuel in fuel cells to generate electricity. Second process is to use them to enhance the biomethane production where methane can be used as vehicular fuel and for electricity generation. Biomethanation is a multi-step process among which the first step of hydrolysis is the most difficult step in case of rice straw. Many pretreatment methods are available but are not feasible when it comes to large-scale application. Anaerobic fungi can degrade the rice straw easily and hence can enhance the biomethanation yield. This process has shown promising results at lab scale. We are on our way to optimize this process and to analyze its techno-commercial feasibility. So, can anaerobic fungi be grown at large scale? Can they help us reducing the rice straw burning issues? We will find out soon.